Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So for this tutorial video, I'm going to show you guys a really quick and easy way that you can pose your 3D models in Clip Studio Paint without almost any effort whatsoever. But before I do that, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, uh, I'm almost complete with my uh, comic book. My comic book is called uh, Swarm, um, and this is issue two. As, as you can see from the thumbnails here, I have uh, really um, three pages to finish, and then the complete book will be the story part of the book will be completed. I have some character sheets that I want to draw to uh, better explain or to better define the characters that uh, that the story doesn't really allow. Um, but so I recently had a uh, Indiegogo campaign that I was trying to get my books uh, put into print, um, but unfortunately that was unsuccessful. Uh, I did manage to raise. Uh, $315 out of the $1,800 uh, goal that I wanted but that's okay I learned a lot from this experience um, I plan to do another uh, campaign um, I might be doing it on Kickstarter uh, but uh, I think what I've learned was to uh, really uh, simplify my campaign I need to make it a little bit simpler uh, more basic I had some um, some options here that were um, I don't know maybe I was overreaching too much uh, for what people wanted I think what I'm gonna do for the next campaign is just basically have a digital version and a uh, a printed version and that's it um, but more more on that as I finish the uh, book like I said I'm on three pages away and um, I will um, be finished with the book. Once I am finished though, I do want to point this out also. I am, I will still, I will still be uh, offering my book in the digital version in Comic Central. Um, currently right now, issue one is in, in Comic Central. You can get that for a dollar. I'll leave a link in the description so that you guys can uh, link to that if you are interested and here is a promo of issue 2 a uh, book of the dead uh, That one's free. It's only a five-page preview um, and um, So you, but you can get that for free um, When I complete issue 2 um, I did make some minor changes to issue 1 mostly the dialogue not the art um, so that the dialogue for both books match uh, so uh, there will be a and also this issue one does not have character sheets so you, you'll probably feel a little lost if you if you read this one um, but when I finish issue two and upload it uh, to Comic Central it will have uh, character sheets so it'll be a complete 40 pages of uh, material in issue one and then 40 pages of material in issue two so and uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be offering them for maybe two dollars a piece but uh, that's uh, again that'll that'll be in the future I'm not entirely sure when I have when I'll have these three pages completed um, I have some uh, personal stuff going on in my real life so uh, I'll let you know okay so now on to the tutorial um, for the Clip Studio Paint. Um, this is going to be a really quick uh, tutorial because it's fairly easy. So, uh, let's say you have, um, you want to create a pose for uh, a certain uh, character. I have some pictures here actually um, on the desktop. Let's look at this one first. Oh. Let me close. Oh, there it goes. So you have this guy running here. Um, and let's say you want to create this pose in a 3D model because let's say you don't want this specific angle 
you want to draw the character from the front, uh, but you know that you want to draw your character running. So you find a picture of, of a person running, and you go into Clip Studio Paint, you throw in a 3D model, and if you come over here to the, um, the properties, the tool properties over here on the side, you're going to see this little icon here where it has a little man in on a piece of paper. It's, uh, it's called, let's see, if I hover over it, it says extract pose from an image. So you click that and then you just simply find your picture of the pose you want and you hit open and you let uh, Clip Studio Paint do its work and there it is. Now it's not going to be exactly exactly the same. Um, there might be some subtle differences. As you can see here, his uh, elbow is a little bit more bent than what uh, Clip Studio extracted from from the picture, and his leg seems to be a little bit more raised, um, more horizontal, um, or more parallel with the uh, the ground. Where here it's uh, kind of pointing towards the ground, but it does give you a a rough estimate, so you don't have to uh, fiddle with the model too much. So all you have to do really, if you want it to look exactly like the picture, is you know just make minor adjustments until you get to um, something that uh, you want. Oh, by the way, I'm using the new 3D models. I typically don't use these models. I use the old ones, but that's fine. You, it, I'm sure it works for both. In fact, I'll try them. So now, now that I have the pose, you know, I can modify it to, to meet my needs. And then I can just simply uh, draw my picture or draw my comic book. Right. So I wanted to try another picture because I want to see how well this works. So again, I'm going to go into uh, 3D models here. Let me pick one of the old school models. So this one here. I'm interested to see if it works. I see the icon there, but actually never tried it with uh, one of these models. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to pick this picture here. Okay, so it did work. But I notice it's doing the same thing as if with the other model. And I'll show you what I mean if I can get back to the desktop. So I chose this picture here. And if you can see from um, my 3D model here, you'll see that the this left or the, the right leg here is the one that is um, coming up. It's higher than the left leg. The left leg is lower. But if you look at the 3D model, you'll notice that the left leg is the one that's up and the right leg is the one that's down. So my guess is that um, if you have dark colors in your picture, uh, Clip Studio Paint can't really differentiate which leg is which. So I think the software is seeing this as the left leg and this as the right leg. And so that's why it extrapolated this. I could be wrong, but I think that's what's happening. You can always, um, for something like this, you can try to um, uh, manipulate it. Uh, like, I wouldn't change these two legs around. I would just mirror, see if I can mirror the... Uh, yeah, see, I would I would just uh, mirror this. And so another thing you'll notice is that his 
uh, torso is twisted. His hips are going this way uh, to the right and his shoulders are moving to the left. Where here, both his um, uh, torso here is just straight up and down. You can see uh, his hips here match his shoulders. Over here, they're kind of crossing. So what I would do is I would simply twist the torso so that it matches a little bit more like what I want. And then you can look at the picture again. I would also say that his spine is kind of curved, right? So that he's he's crunching like this this part of his side is being squeezed and this side is stretched. So I would Oops, not too much. Remember you have multiple layers that you can something like that and then adjust his head so that it's or maybe his neck let me zoom in a little bit or let me zoom in a lot <laughs> yeah okay so you get the idea uh, let me adjust the light so we can see better Right. So we kind of have something that resembles more of the picture. Um, this arm, of for some reason, the software made the arms both straight up and down, which is incorrect. Let's lower this one. And let's kind of bend the elbow on this one a little bit so something like that you can play with it um, but you get the idea um, of how a picture can um, get you close to what you want as far as a pose so um, again that feature is here on the uh, uh, property tools or the tool property it's the little man on the on the page here that it says extract pose from an image and uh, again um, if if I could suggest anything it would be pick a picture where the the colors are bright um, and maybe not too complex but um, if anything it it will it will get you close to what you want and, but not exactly what you want. Always make adjustments uh, to make your characters look more fluid, more realistic, and uh, I think you'll be okay. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it. And uh, if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe to get some more Clip Studio Paint tutorial videos. <laughs> if you guys have any questions or suggestions on a uh, particular feature you want to see how clip studio uh, if it can do it uh, let me know down in the comments if it's something simple I'll respond really quickly with a comment back uh, but if it's something a little bit more complex I'll be happy to make a video and then uh, that way everyone can uh, learn how to use it so again thank you and uh, see you in the next one